Hey, good day, live the fuel fans. So, I'm sitting in wonderful bumper to bumper traffic here in North Jersey, and I figured I'd take advantage of the fact that I could be hands free, Bluetooth technology, and we've been pumping out a lot of new videos, but they've all been around the podcast. And I said, well, I just spent the whole day in back to back business meetings, just dropped off the guy that I was traveling with at his hotel in uh, beautiful Newark, New Jersey, by the way. Um, just kidding. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to share a thought. That's the beauty of video and having the time freedom to be able to do this while I sit in traffic. Is that all day today, I've had my text messages blowing up. And uh, I don't need to ma mention names because I don't care. But the interesting thing was I decided to test something today and I didn't respond to really any of the text messages. But long story short, it was a group message. Some friends are trying to put together a dinner this weekend for us all to hang out. And we all have a choice in who, how, or why we respond to things in life. And an interesting thing is the one gentleman on the, on the text message thread, he's kind of a ball buster, all right? And uh, there's a point where ball busting kind of gets too far. And as I started seeing more and more messages, because I wasn't responding, I've been too busy working all day, he started like basically busting on me. And he and I have two different schools of thought. He's a very, very happy uh, you know, employee and engineer. He does very, very well for himself and his job, his J-O-B, and I'm anti-job. I want to help build other people's businesses along with my own and want to be independent. And so he and I never, never sell, saw eye to eye to that, and I don't care, I don't rub it in his face, but I haven't seen the guy in months. Uh, we have some, some of the same pastimes. We love the bike, we love the mountain bike. Anyway, long story short, I don't know what bug crawled up his ass, but I was like, he, he just starts like basically being super, super negative on the text message. Something about, oh, well, I don't know if we can make the dinner because Scott's going to be there and he's epic. So the funny thing is the guy's literally trying to rip on my brand. Uh, now, granted, I'm the only one who has a brand because I care about creating something of my own. And this is something for you guys, the listeners and the watchers. Like, you're going to, as you guys grow and you guys succeed, you're going to develop haters. Some of those haters may even be what you think are your own friends and when I see that kind of communication it, it does disturb me and at the, I had mixed feelings today because I'm like you know what the guy's kind of being a dick and uh, I don't appreciate that and I've never done anything to be insulting to him I've even helped him with other things in his life and vice versa he's helped me with mine I mean we've done outdoor trips I'm like I don't like I don't know what crawled up his butt but I was like well I'm going to let him run his mouth on his text message, and I still have yet to respond to any of them. It's a, it's a giant group thread trying to get people to get together and have fun. The the, girl, the guy who tried setting it up wants to celebrate the fact that my, my girl and I got engaged. and like I don't know how we fell down this negative thread. So I just want to share that while I'm sitting in traffic today that this happens to me. It's going to happen to you. Don't care or really have any concern as to why he is in that negative mindset I feel actually sad for him and feel like the guy needs to get a life because he just wasted at least 15 to 20 messages today basically trying to I guess get a rise out of me so that's your lesson for this video is like people are gonna test you you're gonna develop haters that don't understand what you're doing and what you're trying to do and grow your life I don't want to be a monkey an employee if he sees this video, you know what I'm talking about. I actually want to help change mankind and put positive messaging out there, constructive messaging like this, trying to teach you guys something. And also be honest and share with you that I have the same struggles that everybody else. So that's really the summation of this little rant video is that you're going to have dicks and assholes that run their mouth and don't know what the hell they're talking about and then try and get a rise out of you. So ignore them. Move on. Admittedly, I was too busy making money today to worry about his little whatever's going on. And if I end up seeing him at the dinner this weekend, I'm going to come ignore him again because I don't care. And I'm building Live the Fuel for you guys. We're building our followers. We're helping make changes in people's lives. And that's what really matters. So keep that in mind, guys. That's your message today is that you're going to develop haters as you grow your own success, whether it be your own brand or your own name as a public speaker or you're trying to build a business, whatever you're doing, you're never gonna make everybody happy. The most important thing you can do is take action with yourself, make positive change, stay away from the negative, 
Don't be ripping on other people. Rise yourself up and rise people up with you because life is too short. And that is part of what Live the Fuel stands for. Fueling positive change, guys. Fueling your health, your business, your lifestyle. And yes, I like using the word epic, so deal with it. All right, guys. Keep living a fired up epic life. I'll talk to you guys again soon.